been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, I don't even. I don't. I, I don't feel. I don't feel right at all doing this. Pretty much every year, I've made an E3 reaction video, but this year I did not do it, and uh, the reason why is pretty much because I didn't care. Don't get me wrong. There was a lot of cool shit at E3. Watch Dogs Legion, which looks interesting. I'm. I'm a little hesitant. Because I'm not sure how you can make that sort of thing, how, how you can make playing as any NPC uh, a meaningful experience. Uh, but, you know, maybe they can pull it off. Pokemon Sword and Shield looks awesome. There's going to be some Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC, which I'm excited for. I've never even played the Shenmue series, which is surprising. Because you, you give me an old game with shitty controls and a, and a uh, like meaty storyline, and I'll play the shit out of that. The Last Guardian. You, I know that's not an old game. Metal Gear Solid, the original one, and like Metal Gear Solid 2 for that matter, which is my favorite game of all time. You give me shitty controls and a good story, I will take it. I'll take it, man. But like, they have, mm, you know, that, that, uh, that whole controversy with Epic Game Store is sad and depressing. There is another controversy, however, that is not to be overshadowed by the Shenmue controversy and every other E3 controversy that has happened. Cyberpunk 2077. Now, honestly, I don't know too much about this controversy. I have not researched much. I'm just going to give my layman's opinion, my layman gaming opinion, if you will. I don't need, I don't want to know too much because it's just stupid. It's just, let's be mad for the sake of being mad for shit that nobody cares about. Let's drum up. It's like the Persona 5 thing. People saying out of nowhere that a song in the game uses the word retarded. Granted, like if you're, if you're in the right state of mind or the wrong state of mind and you listen to it, it kind of sounds like retarded, but then you have to ask yourself, why? And that's the that's how I feel about this Cyberpunk 2077 controversy. It's just why? Why would they? There, there, so there was two. I watched the Yangia video about this. There was two contra two separate controversies. One was about a a black gang being called animals and being like slaughtered en masse. Uh, by the main protagonist, who can also be black, by the way. And then there was another controversy about uh, uh, an advertisement showing a trans person um, with a bulge saying, uh, mix it up. First of all, about the trans thing, which seems a little more serious, that's the point of the game. Companies, corporations don't care about people. They care about their bottom line. They want to make as much money as possible. Whenever I see them change their like logo to the rainbow colors and shit, I'm like, it's a good symbol. It's a it's symbolically cool that you're accepting. But I know why you're doing this. Whenever they show like a gay athlete or something on their on an advertisement, it's not because they really care about homosexuality. Maybe the people involved, the individual people involved do, sure, and that's cool. But the company as a whole doesn't give a fuck. The advertisement in the Cyberpunk 2077 is a sign that yes, companies will exploit these things to make money. That's what they do, and that's what you're fighting against. That's why it's called a punk game, cyberpunk. You're going up against the fucking establishment, which is these gigantic corporations. And then there's the race thing. The whole idea of like black on black crime or like, you know, race, versus race crime or whatever when it that's it's all like a myth if you go to a specific area if you live in a place where there are only white people and you murder someone that don't do that by the way but it's more than likely you're going to be murdering a white person if you live in a place where there's mostly asian people duh you're gonna be affecting other asian people mostly because that's just how demographics work that's literally what demographics is that's a major representation of that place so it's dumb that you know cyberpunk 2077 is trying to do a thing where they're being more inclusive and they're showing more different groups of people and stuff to have in this society and that's being taken as, hey, why are we just killing this one group of people? As Yangye pointed out, in the past year's trailer, you were basically just killing white people. The idea is that I'm supposed to be offended or that Haitian people are supposed to be offended. I'm not Haitian. I have no idea what my lineage is. Uh, that shows how much I care about race. It's just this, it's just drumming up this, this sense of urgency, this sense of worry and fear over absolutely nothing. To call something an unimaginative stereotype, you're reading into a lot and we haven't even seen much of like the story or anything. You don't really know what this game is. You don't know who the characters in the game are. A lot of those characters are probably cannon fodder. Like 
most NPCs in most video games. I think it's good having people caring about other people. I think that's a great thing. The problem is when you make that the only thing that matters. I think identity politics are dumb for the most part, except for obvious biological differences. I, for one, can't get pregnant. I don't have to deal with having a period every month. Women do, and that's an obvious biological difference. I think differences between genders and races are beyond the surface level don't matter that much beyond the biological level don't matter that much i i really believe in uh, the idea of a meritocracy society that's not merit merit meritocracy merit meritocratic but I, I believe in the idea of a meritocracy where you know who you are does not matter as much as what you do what you put into the world i hate the idea that these characters identity matters so much more than the actual you know purpose of that character in the medium beyond that my third thing is if you're gonna attack like a, a medium for whatever you're gonna say it's racist you're gonna say it's um racialist for showing um unimaginative stereotypes if you're gonna say it's sexist if you're gonna say it's homophobic or transphobic you as the person making that claim have to take the next step which is to prove intent it's like with the PewDiePie him saying nigger thing. If you're going to call him a racist, you can point out the fact that he said nigger and say that that's a bad thing, which a lot of people did. Um, even his friends like H3H3 did. But then if you're going to call him a racist, you have to prove intent, which was not at all proven by what was shown in that live stream. If you're going to say that CD Projekt Red is, is racist or transphobic, you have to prove intent. Why? Why would they make an ad that's just blatantly transphobic and put it in their game? Why would the lyricist for Persona 5's music randomly put the word retarded in, in their song? And, and against, like, why? Why would they do that? You have to, you got to make that next logical step, step in proving intent. You're just throwing labels around. Literally just throwing labels around. Trans, transphobic, boom, gay, homophobic, boom, uh, uh, race, black, uh, racist, racist. Uh, and, and trying to string them together into something that makes sense. I'm, I'm like biasing myself toward the microphone. I don't think I really have to be doing that. But you're not taking the logical steps necessary to, to do anything constructive with that. It it's so easy to call someone a, a, a racist. It's so easy to call someone homophobic. It's so easy to call someone a pedophile. Like, like fucking Elon Musk did. Remember that? Remember when Elon Musk just called that guy a pedophile for no reason? With no proof? Now he's not crediting people for their art. That's, that's my point in a nutshell. If you're going to do these things, you as the person writing this, you as the person publishing this, have to make the next step in proving that that, that person who did the thing that you're claiming that they did is malicious you can point out that they did it but that alone is not proof of intent that alone is not proof that that person is racist or sexist or transphobic you have to make that next step that is your job if you're going to accuse them of anything in the first place innocent until proven guilty otherwise but uh fuck whatever games look cool i'm excited for cyberpunk 2077 i'm excited for um a lot of games I just didn't want to make an E3 video because, you know, fuck it. Resident Evil 2 video is still in the works, by the way. Have not forgotten about it. Have not abandoned it. It's still coming. And uh, Bioshock video is also going to come after that at some point. I, I usually make it a point not to um, ask for likes and stuff and, and for shares and retweets in my videos. But I have been stuck at like 698 subscribers for the past year maybe a past year and a half which is the lowest growth i've ever had i'm still getting subscribers but i think i'm losing subscribers at the same rate or maybe youtube's glitching out i don't know it would mean the world if you guys could um you know support this hobby of mine uh i don't make any money of my youtube videos um not because I, I don't have enough um, subscribers, but also I stopped monetizing my videos before that um, drop cutoff point anyway. But it would mean in the world if you guys could share this video. Am I even recording audio? I am. Okay, good. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. So it would mean the world if you guys could, you know, share this video, share my channel, please, with people you uh, go to school with, people you hang out with, you know. Anything, if you think it's good, if you think my opinions are fucking, if you want people to laugh at me, say, look at that 
fucking dumbass. So many YouTubers are at 100,000, you know, million subscribers. I, I just want to get to 1,000, dude. Um, I've been stuck at 700 for, like, forever, it feels like. And it, it really makes it hard to stay motivated. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a good one. And hopefully more people watching would make the algorithm a little happier to see me. Yay, Cyberpunk 2077. Yay, Mike Pondsmith. Yay, video games. I feel like we're in a good place with video games. They're getting interesting. They're getting cool. Can't wait for Death Stranding in November, man. That's going to be fucking awesome, dude.